The Antarctic Peninsula is among the fastest warming regions of the planet, and these regal birds could pay the price. In just a few decades, the world's largest penguin species could no longer be wandering these icy plains. The emperor penguins are being threatened by climate change, with their Antarctic home melting at a rapid rate. Las proyecciones que hay prevén que las colonias que están ubicadas entre la latitud de 60 y 70 grados desaparecerían en los próximos en los próximos decenios, digamos en los próximos 30 40 años. The penguin's reproductive cycle is tied to sea ice. They are the only penguin species that breed during the Antarctic winter. They need a solid thick ice shelf during their mating season from April to December. Instead of building nests, they use their feet and brood patches to protect their eggs. Desestabilizarse esa plataforma de hielo, los pingüinos chiquitos, los que se están los que están creciendo, los o sea, los pichones de esa temporada, pueden no estar emplumados, no estar preparados para ir al mar. Se les desarma el piso sobre el cual están ellos apoyados, la colonia está eh, desarrollándose y si el agua, digamos, los alcanza, no están preparados para nadar, eh, no tienen el plumaje impermeable, que son las plumas definitivas de adulto, y se mueren de frío y se ahogan. The World Wildlife Foundation has called for the birds to be listed as specially protected species. They say the iconic animals are particularly vulnerable to climate change, habitat loss, and human disturbance. For this baby penguin to grow up and breed, it will take around 150 days. And scientists fear most may not make it. What happened in a colony, colonia, especially in the Weddell, in the Mar de Weddell, the colony of Halley, the penguin emperor, during eh, almost three years, had a success of reproductive success, because it was the pack marino before the time, and they were all the pichones. Currently, there are only around 600,000 adult emperor penguins in Antarctica. They are a vital part of the Antarctic food chain. They eat smaller creatures like squid and fish. And they themselves are an important source of food for predators like leopard seals and sharks. So their departure from this icy landscape could set off a devastating chain reaction on the whole Antarctic ecosystem, which in turn could affect the entire planet. Piper Yu Sanichi for Taiwan Plus.